Listen, listen. Like it's actually lit. That's the secret to success. You're not everyone's cup of tea. Some of us like wine. <laughs> I make YouTube content which you should subscribe to. Okay. <laughs> Pretty young girl from Zambia. You know that she ain't with the drummer. Light skin girl Osama. You know she the bomb, she cause trauma. Hey guys, welcome back to welcome to my channel. Hi, my name is Nyamba and I create YouTube content which you should subscribe to. Okay, so welcome to a new vlog. Um, yeah, welcome to a vlog. I never know how to start my vlogs. It's so weird. I'm like, do I keep talking about what I'm doing or I end it there and then like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Hey who? I decided I'll start a new vlog because exciting things are happening this week. So yeah, I hope you like it. Don't forget to thumbs it up, share it with somebody and of course subscribe and of course the freaking gate decides to open when I'm talking damn it it's about 11 40 a.m. right now and I'm about to go shower to head to my hair appointment you guys what's under here is not giving okay like we we need a glow up because this weekend I know the girlies are coming out with their bust downs and whatnot we need to fix what's going on up here so you wanna make it happen you know what I want don't try to fight the heavens good girls aren't the one I'm a flower It's 6 30 p.m. now. I am back home. I just got back like three minutes ago. You guys, I am so exhausted. Oh my goodness, but this is what my hair turned out like. I don't know if you guys can see. I just had like the curls at the bottom. I just wanted giant or jumbo as they call them, not less braids. They took way longer than intended because there was no power in the market but made it work anyways and i think they look pretty cute so yeah once i do my edges and do my face beat like it's all gonna come together period so my boyfriend was my chauffeur today so after getting my hair braided we went to jcs but like the fruit and veg section not the food section so yeah i just got a few like fruits and stuff not much veg at all actually so that was good because i was just like i need more fruits in this house like i have a fruit bowl that is empty half of the time so i'm like mm -mm, i need more fruits got that and then i received a package from coco beauty by nicole cosmetics if you guys know nicole she is a nail tech but now she's ventured into cosmetics so she has like the cutest little just like makeup product and stuff the ones i really wanted were sold out but I still managed to get a few. And then stopped by ShopRite and then came home. So my job now is to put everything away. I already started, but there's still stuff on the counter. I literally look blue. I still look blue. I'm probably gonna color correct so you guys will not see me blue. But anyways, let's open my Coco Beauty package together. You guys, people on TikTok were coming from my neck because I was talking about unboxing my desk chair, but I was like unwrapping it. It just had plastic on it and they're like, it's unwrapped, not unboxed. I'm like, listen, content creators don't know no unwrap. Like, it's unboxed. Whatever it is, it's plastic, it's carton, it's, it's a box, okay? period so cute i love that nicole's um like brand color is pink because i just like love everything i just love her aesthetic because it's pink duh so there's a little card that says hey babe thank you thank you for your support it means absolute world we hope you love your products as much as we love creating them for you don't forget to tag us xx and then it's at coco beauty by nicole her email address and phone number and so i got this cute little beauty blender let's open her up i hate ruining cute packaging How cute is this? Like it's so small and tiny and it literally says Coco Beauty on it. That is so 
so cute like this is just so cute one thing about me i'm not even into makeup like that anymore i was actually thinking about this the other day like i scrolled down my youtube channel my videos not even scrolled down i just clicked on the oldest tab and i was seeing like what i used to post and i used to do like a lot of beauty and stuff and i loved playing with makeup but i kind of lost that over the years but then another thing i discovered is that i used to put makeup on more when i had acne because obviously i was like trying to cover up my dark marks and stuff so when my skin became better i like stopped putting on makeup as much and even just like playing around with it like i stopped having like you know that what is it curiosity for trying new things with makeup but then when was it last year yeah sometime last year i went for makeup class with luciana to like try to reignite my love for makeup which it worked because i was loving my face beats and then i just stopped wearing makeup again i think the few months when i was moving and i wasn't really on youtube and stuff like i just did not bother to wear makeup at all anyways that was a long tangent the next thing is the blush stick these are so cute you guys she actually didn't have any of the shades i wanted so i settled <laughs> but i was just like whatever it's fine how to use dab it on your cheeks and use your fingers to blend gently in a circular motion blush stick can be used on the cheeks eyelids and lips for a touch of color it can be applied using fingertips a beauty sponge or a brush and this is in the shade dried rose i wanted like the really pink shades but then she had yeah she had sold out of them i was late oh a twist oh that's so cute oh yeah this color let's see swatch her that's what it looks like let's see if we blend her out blend it out this is what it looks like also looks really pretty whenever she restocks i really want to try the pinker shades also the fact that it's in a heart like get out of here then the last thing i got was the lip plumper and i got it in the shade strawberry oh and the packaging like i'm obsessed also, by the way, this is not sponsored. Like, I purchased these all with my own coin. Let's squeeze some out. Period. <laughs> I'm about to try some. I'm going to use my finger just because I said, actually, I need to use the applicator. But I squeezed out too much. That's the thing with being a content creator. You want to make things look aesthetic. It doesn't have to make sense. So the jelly isn't spreading that easily. So I think I still use, need to use my finger. Or I put too much. One of the two. It smells really good. This is what it looks like. Love it. Also, you guys, I forgot to update y'all. I got... <laughs> I got these new headphones today, right? And they are the most Chinese headphones I've ever purchased in my life. Like, they are AirPod Max dupes, and I didn't care because I've just been wanting a pair of headphones, right? Just because when I'm doing yoga, I usually have my AirPods in, but then they be falling out of my ears because I have like really tiny ears, so I just wanted like, you know, headphones. So I ain't gotta worry about that. But these, these are so funny. They're so plastic. But then you know what the joke is? They're actually doing the job. Like the sound quality isn't terrible. Like it's not the worst thing ever. It doesn't just sound like there's water in your ears. What else? The volume buttons work. And overall, they, they just work. And they actually flip like the actual airpod maxes <laughs> oh my gosh k and i have been dying at these like she called me because i opened them when i was on my way home and i'm like bro you will not believe this it's so funny and we're laughing i'm like if i walk fast enough no one will notice <laughs> You guys are so funny. The joke is that they work, like I said, so I guess they'll serve their purpose. I wonder how long they'll last because, like I said, they're so plastic. Like, any wrong move and something's gonna snap. But, hey, we'll see. But for now, it's late. Like, it's actually lit. Period. When I have these on, I actually can't hear what's going on outside. Like, with the music and stuff, I can't hear what's going on around me. But then, the people outside can hear my music. <laughs> You know what? Cut the camera, that ass. <laughs> hey guys it's a new day so outfit of today wait let me change something real quick all right that's better outfit of today is all black we have a cm crop top black jeans from plt and my moses 13s <laughs> anyways agenda for today is go get my nails done i'm just getting gel because my birthday is so soon and i want to get acrylics for that and i've been on like a no acrylic stint 
for a few months now but because I have an event this weekend I'm like let me just get gel this is what we're dealing with it's not terrible but it'll be it'll be nicer with some polish on that okay 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 Okay, so what's in my bag to head out? My iPad so that if it colors me, I can edit something, like short form. My book that I'm currently reading, AirPods, some spray, and my Coco Beauty lip plumper. What's in here? My card holder. That fan is loud as hell. All right, that is it. Get my bag, my phone, of course, my camera, my car keys, and head out. So my camera is standing on like the dashboard. It's it's so random. Anyways, I just finished with my with my fingers and toes. Well, you can't really see right now, but I couldn't film properly because it was quite dark in there. Like they just didn't have the lights on basically, but there was power because we were using like the lamps. Yeah, I'm done. Order has been restored. I need to meet up with an auto electrician now. Like, I'm just a girl. Like, why do I have to deal with this stuff? Anyways. And then off to my parents' house. See? What's this? Open. Uh. Say, open, please. Open, please. Uh. Open, please. Here. Here. Like, not, that's not how you open it. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. What is that? What do you say? Give me. Can I see? Oh, oh. Cutie pie. Give me this. Give me that. This one, honey. Give me. Thank you. There you go. Look, look. Oh, wow. The next day. It's a new day. Happy Saturday. I just got done getting ready to go for the Creators Connect event. It's literally 12 p.m. right now. And the program said it starts at 10, but by Zambian time, it started an hour ago at 11. So, yeah, my panel is until like 3 p.m. So, I was just like, I can take my time. I came back home really late last night. I was just so tired. I'm like, I need to get some sleep in. But I look so cute. Like, I did that with my face. You guys are like, what did you do? But, like, like, whatever I did, I did that. Okay, let me show you guys an outfit. And I didn't have time to film me getting ready. I just needed to get it done, okay? This is my outfit. This two-piece is from PLT. I've never worn it before. I literally took it out of a suitcase last night because I'm like, what will I wear? And then right now I just have these slippers on because I need to go pick up my car from my parents' house. <laughs> so random. Um, but I'm going to wear heels to the event. And then... Dun, 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 dun. Listen, listen, listen. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. All right, let me pack my stuff and get going.
Time check, it's 3.33 p.m. right now. You guys, I've been seeing angel numbers like all the time and like period. I'm just at like the side of the hotel right now. I came out to put some stuff in the car. Now I'm going back in. It's a lot of socializing, can't even lie, but that's good. Sometimes it's also the little things, you know, it's every time, you know, every time I see that person, I always feel like it's good vibes, you know, like, oh, like, it's, it's small things like that. And I think it's, it's important for each and every one of us to understand that even as we use social media, we are comfortable enough to know that we, what we say matters to the next person, even if they're a big celebrity or they're a small person, it's, what I'm typing right now, they are going to read it and they are going to feel something about it. If you guys have Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok especially, you know these faces on the screen, right? Literally, the leaders of the new school, they're coming in hot, they're taking up space, and they're doing the things that needs to be done. So, Chisanga Taylor, Gracious Kaoma, Marine Zobu, our moderator. I have been asked to delay this session by five minutes. I don't know what we're gonna do. I should sing. No, God is fair. I can't sing, I can't dance. It's just vibes. <laughs> God is fair. No, I can't. I'm telling you, I can't, but thank you. Um, what are we gonna do? What game are we gonna play? Let's play a game. We tried to play 30 seconds. Catastrophic. Absolutely terrible. Oh, uh, what game should we play? Something. What's your favorite thing about Zambia so far? The people. Everyone's really nice. Yeah. Really sweet, supportive, shout out to Yeah. Yeah. Is this your first time in Zambia? Yeah. Would you come back? Do you have any food? Have they taken you to Matebe No. No. Where is that? Bro, I'll take you to a place called Wagode. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm talking about. It's the best goat meat in the whole country. Stewed with okra, chilies, absolutely delicious. You leave your wig and your, your earrings. Yeah, it's, it's too fabulous for the spot. It's not a wig. <laughs> Who's your favorite Zambian celebrity? Dun, dun, dun. No pressure. There is pressure though. Is there? Uh, do you know any Zambian celebrities? I don't know a lot of Zambian I don't know it. <laughs> Tosha is critical. Tosha is critical. What's your favorite thing about Zambia? So far, to be honest, like she was saying, people are super friendly here. Yeah? I also feel like it just feels super homey. It feels very similar to South Africa, so yeah, I really love it. People are very nice. First of all, I cannot believe I accept this with this because what? I am so shy. But anyways, good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I am Gracious Kalma and I am a social media personality. I am an influencer and a content creator. And also a young entrepreneur. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Nyamba Tambo. I would usually introduce myself as just a YouTuber, but I think I'm a bit more than that. So I'm a digital content creator, I'm an influencer, and I'm a marketer. And yeah, it's such a pleasure to be here. Um, so I started creating content a long time ago. <laughs> now that I think of it, back then it was just me taking pictures of my outfits and posting them on Instagram, but that was content creation. So I want to say I started con uh, creating content in around 2011, 2012. <laughs> A really long time ago, I was just like in high school at the time, and seriously on YouTube in 2017. 
And what led me to begin my YouTube journey seriously actually was moving back to Zambia from America. So I felt like I was almost the odd one out at school. Like I liked watching YouTube and stuff like you know, stuff that people here were not consuming and I would try to relate with people at school and be like, oh, have you seen Alicia Marie's new YouTube video? And they're like, who is that? Like, who is Alicia Marie? So I feel like my content creation journey began out of being like a wallflower almost. So I would go home, watch YouTube, and at some point I was like, I feel like I can do this. Like I can do what I'm watching them do. And I started recording videos in my bedroom. Sometimes I'd record them on the webcam and my parents would find them and be like, well, what are you doing? And yeah, from there it's just been, yeah, that's just been what it is. <laughs> that's how I started and yeah. Enter the market. This is the entry, the entry strategy I'm going to use. So, Nyemba, I'll start with you. Um, when did you start to take content creation seriously, and maybe also build systems around it? Like, when did you start to think I could actually make money from this? Um, so I'll start with the building systems part first, and that was in 2017 when I made the decision that YouTube was what I wanted to do, and like. It's now or never type of thing. So the first system, quote unquote, I created was Tempo Tuesday. So I figured to hold myself accountable, I needed to upload once every week, and it was going to be on a day I chose. So my sister is like, um, Joe Sug has Sug Sundays. Why don't you do Tempo Tuesdays? So I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so smart. This is like my younger sister of like five years. I did not think of it by myself. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the first system that came into place was Tempo Tuesday. So from then on, I made a pact with myself and I told my followers as well so that they could hold me accountable that we would start Tempo Tuesdays and every Tuesday at whatever time it was, I would upload a video, they should expect a video. And I was consistent with it. From 2017, I think I only missed a Tuesday upload maybe in 2019. From like January 2017. The, the records are there, I don't archive videos. <laughs> They're still there. And from then on, it became a thing of, I'm actually enjoying doing this, now I'm taking it seriously, let me see where it can get me, that sort of thing. So with the weekly uploads is when I began to see my follower, subscriber count grow. And it was because of the consistency. So now I tell people, if there's one tip I can give you about creating content, it's consistency. Um, one of my girls is in the audience right now, Machimba, and she sent me a screenshot of when she had subscribed to me. This was like maybe a month or two ago, like recently, she sent me a screenshot of when she subscribed to me and I was at like 400 and something subscribers. And now I'm at like 28K or something like that. And I'm like, that's crazy because at the time I wasn't lowballing myself and thinking, oh my gosh, I'm only at less than 500 subscribers. Like I was consistent. Like I was putting in those hours like I was getting paid and I was not getting a single dime. Like the first time I got paid from content creation was I think in 2019. And this was two whole years after I had been uploading weekly, weekly. Yeah, and from then on, it's like, okay, I've made a few dollars, you know, let's keep this going, let's see how far we can go, how much we can make, and I feel like from there is when I started implementing more, oh, what time should I post, um, what kind of content do my consumers like, and all of that stuff, so it's gradual, but I just say, number one, just start and be consistent with what you do, and create quality content like people don't want to see a shaky camera a, you know blurry photo like actually be serious in what you're doing if you want to take it seriously be serious in the content that you're putting out even if two people are watching because one day it will grow okay so as new school leaders what impact do you think that you're having on new content creators and it's just answer briefly as as briefly as possible what what impact do you think you, you have for me i can say I've been getting a lot of messages from young girls and people saying, I never knew it was possible for a Zambian to do what you're doing. So that for me is enough. Just like Sanya just said, I feel like the, the impact we're having on, on 
the new content creators is that they are actually teaching them that, you know what, if you have an idea and you believe in yourself, just do it. You know, don't think about what people are going to think about your content. Because, you know, the one thing that kills a lot of content creators is feeling like, ah, then if I put this up, who's going to follow this, who's going to like this and stuff. So just start. Not be intimidated by the person that has got more followers than you because at some point they were in your shoes. They, they didn't know whether they should start or not. They didn't know what kind of content they should, they should do. So I feel like by, by them observing the content that we create and the things that we do is actually teaching them to say, you know what, if, if they can do that, I can do it too. And even I'm able to become great or even greater. I think the impact I'm having is I'm teaching young girls that they can do it. Their age doesn't matter. You can achieve so much at such a young age. And there's no perfect time. I'm teaching young girls that there's no perfect time. You choose the time to start and you perfect your craft. So my fellow panelists have basically said, yeah, like everything. Um, but I'll also just add the fact that you need to push past the fear and the anxiety and just all these weird feelings that you're gonna feel. Um, just before this, I was in the next room of, and there was a talk about mental health and stuff and someone asked, how do I get past the anxiety of just starting to post? And I said, the truth is that anxiety never goes away. Like I have posted now over 300 videos on my YouTube channel. Every single one of those videos when I'm about to click publish, my chest, like my whole chest. And someone watching me do it will be like, what do you mean you're nervous or you're anxious or whatever? And it's like, it just never goes away. So. Another thing that Tawodaka said on TikTok recently was, if you're going to get into content creation and whatnot, throw embarrassment outside. You need to leave embarrassment at the door because you will never do it if you're embarrassed or you think, oh, what are they going to think? Like, let them think what they're going to think. At the end of the day, not everyone's going to like you. You're not everyone's cup of tea. Some of us like wine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah, just... Do what you have to do, know why you're doing it, and don't listen to the haters. Can I have a round of applause for Lanzi? Look, looking, that's the thing we say in Zambia, you're looking so swords. So swords. So fabulous. So getting into being a content creator, it's a big question. I would actually say I got into it accidentally um, by being bored and lonely and finding a camera and finding an online community who I was able to connect with. And initially, it was all about just sharing with other people who were into things that I was into. And then eventually, this is what I love about social media and platforms, you realize though you think you're sharing with a small community, you end up accidentally sharing with the world. Hey, this brand is paying me X amount of money. I can come up on my reel, hop, 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 And it's like, okay, well, you were a success overnight. And the winners are here because they've stuck with it through nasty comments, through rejections, through no brand deals falling through, people not saying we're good enough, but all of them create authentic content and that's the secret to success. So rather than you trying to say, what's the formula that I can take from that person? Yes, absorb lessons from those creators, but apply it in your own way that only you can do. And also listening to what your subscribers or what your followers or what your fans have like that. Think what your subscribers or your followers or your darlings like can possibly make it more better for you personally for me that's what i've experienced so i never conform to the standards or i never conform to what social media is doing i still stick to what i do because that works for me being a successful creator is an element of you know you know switching up adding some fresh stuff that might not feel the most natural to you um, but just to try and see what happens because there's an aspect of you need to test you need to push yourself out of your comfort zone but then you also need to find the things that inspire and you get from your own self as well so like okay i started my new channel the break because i was just sick and tired of people asking me about finances and i'm like listen i'll make a channel about it and then that ended up blowing up because it was something i knew i didn't think people would like it because my background is you know makeup and blah 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 and people like that but they wanted to hear me talk about taxes. So that came out of me doing something that felt 
very not authentic to me, but something that I knew that some people wanted, so I did it anyway. So don't do it. Yes. <laughs> don't do not do it. Don't do it. If you're gonna overshare, like Lazi said, if you have a boyfriend, fine, you can overshare that. It's but to me, I just feel like it's yo, I don't know how to say it in English. It's news, Dinza. What is it? It's yes. people's business. It's your business. Keep your personal life private because one thing about social media, they never forget. They'll come back and bring it to you. You date this guy, the next two months you single. Oh, what happened to the last one? Mm, you keep jumping. Mm. <laughs> Hey vlog, we're doing the debrief period. Out here? Period. <laughs> Don't kill me. You guys, of course the gate decides to open. Anyways, I'm at home now. It's been a while since I got back. The first thing I did was call Kay and scream on the phone about Patricia Bright because she knows how deep it is. Like, bro. Oh my goodness. And then, yeah, I just finished talking to her. We spoke for quite a while because for us, it's never just high and by. And then while at the event, my camera died because I forgot to carry the extra battery that I had fully charged. Like, imagine. I was so not happy about that but whatever it died basically during the end almost the end of my panel so then i recorded everything else on my phone you guys uh, i just uh, today was just perfect it just ended on such a perfect note like the patricia bright you guys knows who i am and called me inspirational God is good, God is good. You know, everything in God's timing. Like, it's so crazy that I lived in the UK for I don't know how many years and I never met her, never interacted with her. But then I'm like operating in my gift at home where I wanna be and that's when I meet her and that's when she knows who I am and not just like as any other fan. She, girl so blessed hashtag blessed as bruno mars said so now i need to get unready i have this zit that i woke up with today literally i feel like i manifested it because i was like what if i wake up with a zit because this whole week i've been so on my game with skincare because i'm like i can't have any zits this weekend but i think in the obsession of not wanting zits the universe was just like let's let's give you one so i woke up with this one and then one thing about makeup is it will mature a pimple so now it's it's literally a whitehead that needs to be popped so let's do some skincare i don't know if i want to film it first of all it's been like two hours since the last time you guys saw me and i said i was going to do skincare i did not go right away and i ended up sitting on the couch for a bit and then i went to do my skincare like wipe all my makeup off wash my face and then i went to eat dinner and then i sat on the couch and now my eyes my eyes are literally bloodshot red like I don't know if that's the contacts or I'm just that tired. Yeah, I need to do the rest of my skincare now. So we'll do that together and get back into 100% default settings, which is glasses on. You guys, look at how I left my vanity this morning. Well, this afternoon. It is such a mess. So I need to clear this up before I proceed so I can put my camera on here. Why does that look like literal pee? Ew.
it is like midnight now i assume because last time i checked it was like 11 58 or something like that i'm so tired and once my glasses are on like once i take my contact out and my glasses are on the level of sleep that hits me is like a bus like yo i'm so tired but i'm super super grateful for today like i can't even explain it uh, i'm just so grateful to be in the position that i am with what i do there tends to sometimes be a lot of comparison like oh how come she's doing better than me how come he's doing better than me even though he started creating content like yesterday and blah 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 and, you know that sort of thing where you can like get in your head a lot even though it doesn't doesn't seem like it even though like you know that what you're doing is like what you're meant to be doing there's just i feel like it's human nature to second guess that i guess but like i can't even lie sometimes i find myself falling into that trap like okay sometimes it's not even why are they doing better than me it's like what am i not doing to achieve certain things or to be on certain campaigns or blah 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 but at the end of the day own lane own pace own race like our stories are each so unique and even if we're all just in this like content creator space or whatever space you're in you're a teacher you're an accountant you're a banker you're a lawyer whatever it is it's like no one operates the way you operate no one is gonna write a judgment like you'll write a judgment you know what i mean like we're all so special in our own ways and it's important to remember that and overall i'm just so grateful to have been part of a panel a girl i sat next to reminded me about i forget her name right in this moment i'm so sorry but if you're watching this please comment down below um she reminded me how at last year's creators connect event we sat at the same table and i said how i would love to be a panelist and she's like it's so cool how you said that last year and then here you are today and i'm like oh my gosh i totally even forgot about that like that's so crazy that you remember what i had said and like low-key i guess i spoke it into existence but i say everything in god's time because i just feel like everything just comes so full circle right when it needs to happen it's funny i was telling Kay earlier like i lived in the uk for how many years and i did not even brush a shoulder with Patricia Bright and then I'm back home operating in grace <laughs> basically like operating in just I don't know how to even explain it basically doing what I love where I want to do it and that's where I've met one of the people I look up to the most like you know like the divine timing is crazy you guys Patricia is everything I've been watching her for years I feel like I've grown up with her like grown up watching her and to finally meet her was just as cliche as it sounds a dream come true like i would have never thought you know there's those people who you just it's not even on your mind that you'll meet them one day but then you're presented with an opportunity like oh who do you want us to bring and you're like oh i guess it's so and so and so and then they actually bring them and then you're like what shout out thai media because what I was fangirling me like the fact that people come up to me fangirling for me is crazy and then i had a fangirl moment and like i felt like how you guys feel when you meet me and i'm just like ah, insane i'm probably rambling right now but like i said i'm super grateful i feel super blessed and just lucky to be in the position that i'm in and today was just a reminder for me to just keep on going like people watch it's crazy because right now I'm, it's just me my room my camera my lights it's just this and then you guys will comment and like and whatnot but it doesn't feel as real as when i meet you in person and you say oh my god i watch you oh i'm the girl who dm'd you on instagram about xyz like the feeling is unmatched i can't even i can't put it into words literally but i'm so grateful for you guys who watch me have watched me over the years continue to watch me through all my seasons of life and you know all that jazz so yeah thank you guys so much i'm super super grateful and for a whole patricia bright who's someone i've looked up to for the longest time to call me inspirational you know what cut the cameras dead ass i'm dreaming like i'm dreaming like what i tweeted about how it felt like such an out-of-body experience listening to her and sitting there just like here i am that's the patricia bright like 
what make it make sense crazy okay like i don't think you get how crazy that is <laughs> not me saying crazy with the thing on my tooth child mm -mm. now that was crazy <laughs>